This is Professor Hui explaining how you can use sunlight to generate electricity. What we have here is a triple junction photovoltaic cell that consists of three junctions. The first would be able to absorb the blue light, the second to absorb the green light, and the third the red light. And this junction is created by doping gallium arsenide with a chemical such as India. According to Einstein, the energy of an electron that is ejected from its junction is given by the energy of the photon subtracted off the energy it takes to be ejected from that junction. Since the energy of the blue light is la of a, fo a blue photon is greater than the energy of a green photon and greater than the energy of a red photon, what you have is that the blue light is absorbed first by the blue junction. The, red, the green light then penetrate the blue junction to be absorbed by the green junction. And finally, the red photon is absorbed by the last one, which is the red junction. By this selective absorption, according to the three layer, you minimize the amount of heat that is wasted uh, uh, in the absorption process. Here we show these uh, triple junction photovoltaic cells that is manufactured by MCOR. Uh, in the center, you have the one centimeter square photovoltaic cell. On either side, you have the diode for bypass in case uh, the photovoltaic cell is blocked, the, uh, is blocked from the sun. And on either side, you have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. What we are planning to do is to put this triple junction cell at the focal point of a one foot diameter parabolic dish that has roughly 0.75 uh, uh, square foot of concentrated solar energy at the focal point. And we expect at a 35% efficiency of this solar cell, it should be able to generate somewhere close to 20 watts of power.